And there was uh, one other situation where, let's just say, a Marine uh, winked his willy. The skin on both of his feet had degloved. Obviously, I'm gay. I'm in the Marines. I can't really put a, like, a finger on it. I rolled over my uh, first IED out there in Afghanistan. and uh, I have family that's been in the Army, Navy, and Air Force. Don't think I have any that's been in the Coast Guard or National Guard. What's the Coast Guard? Hey guys, so today we're here at San Diego celebrating the Marine Corps' 247th birthday. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to a bunch of Marines from my unit. And I'm gonna be asking them what they think about the other branches. We have a ton of interesting people that are under the influence to talk to today. So yeah, you're gonna wanna stick around till the end of the video because I think we're gonna get some really funny answers. Anyways, with all that being said, let's go interview these Marines. What's your rank, name, and what do you do in the Marine Corps? My name is Corporal Morales, and in the Marine Corps, I am an 0411 Maintenance Management Specialist, and I'm in charge of a section of Marines, as well as a PT standards for maintenance section. What do you do on the civilian side? On the civilian side, I'm currently a full-time student. I'm taking 15 credits at Cal State Dominguez Hills. I'm an electrical contractor. We do a lot of jobs for the government. Also do a lot of commercial electrical jobs in the marijuana growing industry. Does that pay well? Yeah, it actually pays really Really good. A benefit of joining the Marine Corps is uh, it gives you like a certain level of clearance that's uh, available. That you're able to do uh, jobs that pay prevailing wage, which is uh, basically government jobs. It pays whatever prevailing wage is paying at that time. And I think it's at around $60 an hour. Yeah, that's not an everyday type of job, but it's a few times uh, a month, definitely. And then how much does the Marine Corps pay you every month as a reservist? Currently as a corporal, I think I'm getting around maybe in the ballpark of three to 400 for like a two day drill. If I'm not accounting the reserve GI that I get with Marine Corps, which is approximately $450 a month to go to school. And why did you join the Marine Corps? I knew the Marine Corps was the most difficult branch, and I always saw a bigger future for myself, and I thought I uh, might as well take the most difficult route, and I, I love it. No regrets. So what do you think about the rest of the branches? No, I respect them a lot. They do a lot of great work, and everyone has a role to fill in the military, and it makes our United States military uh, very great. But I am very biased, and I love my men and women in the uh, Marine Corps, and I think we work really hard. Now, I'm glad the direction that we are headed currently. And what do you think makes Marines different from all the other branches? Harder boot camp, more physical activity in our branch, hikes and uh, different PT standards, and just the overall morale, just the ability to really bond with one another very strongly, like this event at the Marine Corps Ball. I think that sets us aside from a lot of other branches. What's like the craziest story that you have in the military? It was rifle qualification at boot camp. A Marine had to use a porta john and uh, ran out of toilet paper. He had to use an orange peel to wipe his uh, behind. The Marines are pretty resourceful, huh? Yeah, I mean, you gotta use what you have. And there was uh, one other situation where, let's just say a Marine uh, winked his willy and uh, got an infection and it uh, ended up becoming the size of a soda can. If you're uh, from 2167 Hotel Company, uh, you remember, <laughs> you're, you know just who that is. Do you have any advice for anybody that wants to join the military? You should definitely do your homework, you know? There's different uh, options you're able to take. Like, for example, I have a few buddies who uh, decided to go the welder route as a reservist and uh, use that on different job applications that pay really well like in the 30s and 40 dollar range do your homework on based off of what job you want it might even apply into the civilian side what's your favorite thing about the military I love the camaraderie it has mainly the benefits it comes with a lot of networking I've been able to get in contact with other Marines who applied me with very great opportunities in the outside well, my name is Corporal Kapkowski in the Marine Corps I'm a motor T operator but I also have additional MOS's I'm a uh, combat marksmanship coach and uh, what what do you do in those billets? In the motor T billets, I typically just run the machine gun. I teach my Marines how to employ the uh, 240 Bravo and how to employ them properly upon our trucks. And uh, what do you do on the civilian side? Civilian side, I am a firefighter. Does that pay good? It is a very decent paying job. I don't know about per year. I think it's around 52000 How much does the Marine Corps pay you every month? The Marine Corps pays me $176.80 per day that I'm on the reserve side. And uh, how do you find out how much you're getting paid every single day? Honestly, it's real easy. Just log on to MOL and go to uh, ACRC or whatever. It 
it's all broken down for you. It's real simple. Why did you join the Marine Corps? This is going to sound stupid as hell, but uh, Halo 2. I grew up playing Halo, and I uh, saw the Marines fighting next to Master Chief. I was like, I want to be that guy. So here I am, just living my life and loving it. Why did you join the Marine Corps over the other branches? Based on everything I saw in recruiting, and like even the things that I looked up. Obviously, Air Force is always going to be the best. Um, in, Air was, Force? Yeah, Air Force is going to be best overall, just in terms of quality of life and all of that, right? So I already knew like the Air Force is best, like, but I still want to join like something where I knew I was going to be challenged every day. Join the Air Force if you want comfort, and then join the Marine Corps if you want challenge. Exactly, exactly. What's your favorite thing about the military? All the badass shit we get to do, whether it be riding helicopters, calling fire missions, being on range all the time, figuring out what works, what doesn't work, so I can go back and teach my unit on how to properly uh, prepare for range. It's just stuff like that that not everyone gets to experience. You went to OCS, right? Do you have any advice for anybody that's looking to become an officer? Yeah. Don't fail your PFT like I did and kick, get kicked out. I was okay fit. Like, I passed my PFTs, whatever. I'm a first-class pft -er. However, we had a coronavirus going around, and we were stuck in our barracks room for two weeks without having any way to PT, and I really, really lost all my cardio, and I failed my intro PFT. So make sure you're out there running all the time. Cardio is a big thing, whether you're enlisted or an officer in the Marine Corps, but most definitely officer. What's your ideal man? Obviously, I'm gay. I'm in the Marines. Like, And you can ask my guys, like, I'm probably one of the straightest guys in the <laughs> in the platoon, right? Yeah, surprisingly. I don't know how that works, but... It, it's sad, but I can't really put a, like, a finger on it. A normal guy, really, likes to have fun, go out. Also, hey, sit back. Let's watch a movie. Let's let's stay in bed and, like, let's get a nice weekend and just sleep. Yeah, nice, dude. You, so you like versatility? Oh, yeah, definitely. What is the meaning of life? Make it what you enjoy. Go out and enjoy what you do, because if you enjoy what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. You'll always go out and be having fun. Like, I have a lot of active duty friends. They will not take leave. I'm like, dude, Take leave, enjoy yourself, you earned that. Like, let's go out, let's enjoy ourselves a little bit. Because yeah. if you work yourself to death, what kind of quality of life is that? You gotta go out, you gotta enjoy yourself, find your hobbies, and enjoy those, exploit those. Thank you so much, man, yeah, bro, it's anytime. been a pleasure. My name is Lieutenant Maria Pham, and I work in the S1, so in the administrative office. What do you do on the civilian side? I'm a pharmacist for Kaiser Fontana. I, I'm guessing it pays like really well, right? It does pay well. You can make anywhere starting out 90 to 110. Why'd you join the Marine Corps? I was a band geek in middle school. Um, I did police explorers in high school, but my mom, being the Asian parent that she was, was like, you can do it for fun, but you know, not as a career or anything, no law enforcement, no military. So I joined relatively late. Um, I was 27. I became a lot more independent, and um, I needed a push in my life. I needed to put some energy and passion towards something else. So even though I could join like the Navy or the Army or the Air Force and do pharmacy, I knew I wanted to join the Marine Corps because I did buy into the look and the pride and the prestige of the Marine Corps. So it had to be the Marine Corps or nothing. And um, I trained for about six months and then I went to OCS. So for anybody that's thinking about joining the military or specifically OCS, do you have any advice? So for OCS, uh, they grade you on leadership, physical fitness, and um, academics. Hike a lot with weight on your back. Run, do a lot of part legs. You have to learn how to keep your mind sharp when you're sleep deprived. It's it's always a mind game with you and your peers, um, having confidence in yourself. And uh, how much is the Marine Corps paying you every month? I don't know off the top of my head how much I make. It's a couple hundred for a four driller, meaning a two day drill, but it changes every year. So you, you can always look it up online to see how much you should be getting per drill. What's the craziest story that you have in the military? All officers, after they commission, they go to the basic school for six months before they go to MOS school. Our culminating hike is a 15-mile hike. We work our way up to it. And at the end of the 15-mile hike, apparently someone had their whole foot had degloved. So if you're a Navy corpsman, you would understand that his feet were so sweaty and worn out from the hike that the skin on both of his feet had degloved. There was no bleeding, but it was like literally a glove had come off of his foot and it was his skin. What do you think about the other branches? I think every branch has a unique specialty that they offer. As a baseline, I am very confident saying that we are the most physically challenging, we are the most prideful, and we give up the least. What would you say is the one thing that makes Marines different from all the other branches? The attitude. It's a double-edged sword. Sometimes they're really cocky, and other times it's <laughs> it's so motivating. All right, so what's your name and what do you do in the Marine Corps? Sergeant Gudgel Corp Colton. I am a Motor T operator. Okay, and what does a Motor T operator do? I drive anything from Humvees, 7 tons, JLTVs, and LVSRs, and any of the trailers that go attached to those vehicles. And what do you do on the civilian side? Also a driver and inventory taker of a cabinet company here in San Clemente, California. Does that pay well? I get paid roughly about 22 an hour. How much do you make from the Marine Corps? Roughly about $200 a day, $209 a day. You came from active duty side, so do you have any advice for any active members that are looking 
looking to join the reserves. Don't leave the reserves just because that unit doesn't suit you because there might be another unit that suits you. Or just hold on to that opportunity that you got to be in the reserves until you can get past it all. Me personally, there's been a lot of opportunities for other jobs and other opportunities to leave the Corps and find something better. But in the long run, if I stick in for 20 to 30 years, I'll have more of a retirement plus whatever I get from the civilian side. It provides better opportunity just for the two days out of the month that I have to be here. And do you have any advice for anybody that's looking to join the military? I'd say get more in shape. What do you think about the other branches? I think it's all fun and games when we make fun of each other. You know, Chair Force, you know, the Air Force being all gay, <laughs> Marine Corps having the boot bands, and then the yeah. Army just kind of being there. In all honesty, we all work together to create a safe and work environment that can provide the country a safe space. The more we kind of joke around each other, the more we're comfortable to fight together. The less we kind of joke around and try to pull each other's strings, the more there's going to be tension and we're not going to work together as well. What would you say makes Marines different from the other branches? That's kind of a hard one because honestly we're all really similar in the sense that we all are here for a purpose but in all honesty the biggest difference is probably the sense of why we are here. That's probably the biggest difference. With the Air Force you have you know the knowledge that they have and the capability to fly their planes. Navy they have their ships they know where they need to be when they need to be there and how they need to be there. Marines we don't have that. We don't have where we need to be when we need to be there because we're always on the move. We're always swapping from planes, the trains, the cars, the trucks, to boats, to whatever we have to do to accomplish said missions. So why did you join the Marine Corps? Personally, when I first joined, it was to give back. I have family that's been in the Army, Navy, and Air Force. I don't think I have any that's been in the Coast Guard or National Guard, but personally, I joined the Marine Corps because it provided me the opportunity to do more than just the one thing, but it also provided me a sense to be different than the rest of my family. I cared about giving back to the community and giving back to my country. You said the Coast Guard, right? Yeah. What's the Coast Guard? U.S. Coast Guard is just in a branch of the military that they mostly suit to uh, like pirates and the local community. Pirates? Pirates still exist? Pirates still exist. And the last question, what's your ideal type of woman? Oh, well, honestly, my wife's the best description that there can be. I mean, we fight, we have struggles, but that's any relationship. The ideal woman is someone that doesn't give up and doesn't try to push you away. You know, They stick by you with every struggle but they also have their own sense of identity that is different from your own. Maybe you don't like it, maybe you do. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter because you care what she fights for. Same as you, what you fight for in the core or in your daily civilian life. That's amazing. That's like probably the best answer we have so far. Thank you so much. Yeah. All righty, Staff Sergeant, can you let the people know uh, what's your name and what do you do in the Marine Corps? My name is Anthony Benny Carrasco, Staff Sergeant, Policeman Sergeant for Motor T. I've been in the Marine Corps for 12 years already. Did active duty from 2010 to 2014. Why did you join the Marine Corps? One thing that, that I joined was to better myself and also just to take the challenge. A lot of my friends were just going to get out, going to just go do this regular jobs, you know, work at like JCPenney's or like the mall or any kind of like fast food organization. But I wanted something different. I wanted to get out. I wanted to see the world. I wanted to experience what life was to live on my own because I didn't really get that as a child and as a teenager growing up. Do you have any advice for anybody in the military right now that's looking to switch from active duty to the reserves? Just give it a try because when when I went from active to this, it's a different beast. It's a different animal. I look at it as, as, as being a, like a bigger side of the Marine Corps. You come, you do your drill, and then you go back to doing your civilian job, your civilian side, and then you have to come back and snap right back into it all over again. And uh, what do you do on the civilian side? I work for Ford as a transmission technician. Does that job pay well? I close out at a year at 85, 85,000. I enjoy it. I definitely do enjoy it. I think I, I finally found a career I know I can stick to. And then how much does the Marine Corps pay you? I'm gonna have to take a, a, a question mark on that because I've never done my homework on it. I just like doing this, you know. Yeah, you know, I enjoy getting paid for it, but showing up and being around Marines and being able to do what I do, I think that kind of pays off, you know. I know it's kind of like corny to say. In reality, I, I, I enjoy doing this. I really do. And uh, you've been in combat staff, aren't So what was the craziest story that's ever happened to you in the military? It was when we were coming back from uh, operation and then myself and my A driver, we were in the fuel truck. We had just lost sight of the third Vic in the convoy. And 
and they went over a hill and then we went over right over them and next thing you know everything just flashes and I black out I roll over my uh, first IED out there in Afghanistan and uh, I remember hitting my head but uh, I didn't get a concussion or anything thank God my A driver did he did get a concussion you know they pulled us out of the vehicle we were okay we changed the tire on the VIG they provided security and then from there we continue pushing to complete the rest of the operation but um, that was my first encounter like of, of an IED after that I ran over another three and then I was involved in the second one but it was a uh, it was pretty a pretty good experience I wouldn't change it or go back on it ever again what do you think about the other branches in the military I mean we need them <laughs> we need them you know I know we we have a lot of competition between other branches and at the end of the day we need them just like they need us and I know that any other organization any other branch would take a bullet for me just like I would for them I know during a the deployment they would support us just like we would support them and I love them my wife she is a Air National Guard so I mean we have a little bit of a competition between each other but just like they need us we need them as well too you know because the next world conflict we go into it's going to be very air powered and you know missile powered as well too from what I've seen what would you say is like the one thing that makes Marines different from all the other branches tradition 100% tradition and the spirit of the core everywhere else you know they have their own little things but any Marine that you meet off the street either retired just went to boot camp just graduated any any season of their their, their life cycle that they're in in the Marine Corps career you can relate to them you can go back into boot camp and be like oh yeah you know I remember uh, Black Friday I remember meeting my senior DIs it doesn't matter if you're a reservist or active duty or if you deployed or you haven't deployed we can all relate 100% and, and the tradition that we hold, I think no other branch can match it. What's your favorite part about the military? The fact how we can one minute go from our civilian job and snap right into, okay, now it's time to do Marine things. What's the biggest lesson that you've learned in the military? Don't take anything for granted. Listen to your seniors because they've seen a thing or two. And also always think of the small things because the small things are the things that will either make the mission fail or have the mission accomplished or they can get you killed or get someone else killed. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all the interviews that we had today. I hate to cut it short for you guys, but um, they're playing really good music right now. And I just want to get a good dance in before I have to head home because it is getting pretty late. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please be sure to hit that like button and also let me know down in the comments below what kind of videos you guys want to see next. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. And for all the Marines out there, happy birthday.